Hi everyone, it's Allison. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd. Today we are going to be looking in my guinea pig and rabbit first aid kit. So <laughs> first I want to say this is a pretty extensive kit since I have a lot of pets, but a first aid kit is a great thing to set up for your pets so that if you ever have some kind of illness or emergency, you have some things on hand to get you through until you get to the vet. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right on into this because there is a lot of stuff in this kit. So starting off straight from the outside, you can see this is clearly labeled. So this is actually a toolbox. Um, this is from Home Depot or Lowe's. It's a toolbox that just um, has these two compartments on the top, one here, one here, and then it locks open and closed with these latches. So you can see it's clearly labeled guinea pig and rabbit first aid kit. And there's one on the side as well because this sits on a shelf in the closet. So let's go ahead and get into what is actually in here. So if you open up this side, there are some gauze bandages and then a whole bunch of Q-tips. So those are just for easy access. And then on this side, there is a whole bunch of cotton balls and then those go to our stethoscope, but it's mostly just cotton balls in there. Again, for easy access. So let's go ahead and open it on up. And you can see what we have in here. So one thing I do want to say before we get too much farther into this is having an emergency kit is great, but it is not a replacement for taking your pet to the vet. So taking your pet to the vet is still very important if there's any kind of medical emergency, but if they just have something minor that you know how to treat at home, having stuff on hand um, is really helpful. And then if something unexpected happens or an illness happens, it's great to already have these things to hold you over until you're able to get to the vet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into everything that's in here because it is quite a bit. So first I wanna point out, you can see up here, there's this list and this has everything I'll get it out and show you. It has everything in our kit on it, um, what it's for and when it expires. So that way I just have some kind of reference that tells me when it expires and then if I'm traveling or out of town and um, Pig Dad or somebody needs to know what I'm talking about and what it's for or anything about it, it's on this list. So I just have it in a little baggie on top of here so that it's just up there and easy to access. So getting into the actual items. So let's just grab something and get into it. So I'm not gonna explain specifically what every single thing is for. Um, some of it is kind of self-explanatory and then some of it is medical specific. Um, so I'm just gonna grab stuff and go for it. So this is um, styptic powder. And this is to stop bleeding in case you accidentally cut the quick when you're clipping nails. Um, then I have, again, not going to focus, um, some Vaseline. And really this is just um, in case, really it's just in case it's needed. Um, I honestly can't think of something off the top of my head. Um, but I also have a thermometer. So I have this thermometer. This is mostly for the bunnies in case I needed to take their temperature. And then I have the Vaseline to go with it. Um, I would look up how to take a bunny's temperature before trying to do it. I have never done it, but I have this just in case I need to. Um, I'm gonna take things out as I talk so that I don't try to talk about the same thing twice. Um, I have a little pocket pack of hand sanitizer in here. This is for people, this is not to go on a pet. Um, I just have this in case I'm traveling with the pets or really quickly need to um, clean my hands. Then I have this 100% aloe vera. This works good for any irritated skin or redness or um, dry skin. This is really good for treating guinea pigs especially on like their ears or like I said, if they have a cut or irritated skin. So make sure you get 100% pure aloe vera gel. This one I actually found in the travel section of Target and that's the only place that I could find the 100% 
gel because you don't want it to have any added colors or anything like that. All right, next we have, this has my address and stuff on it, um, but this is, I think this is Medicam in this one. I believe this is, this is some kind of pain meds. Um, I'm not gonna get it to focus because it has addresses and stuff on it, but this is a pain med that our vet gave to Mikey when he was having his ear infections recently. So I just kept that just in case. Pretty sure it's Medicam. Um, then I have gas relief drops. These are infant gas relief drops. I just got these at Walmart or the, the grocery store or something. Um, these are good for if your guinea pig gets bloat before you're able to get them to the vet. So if your guinea pig is bloated, definitely get them to the vet as soon as you can. But this can be given um, to try to help them out until they can get to the vet. All right. Um, this is not something that you will have either. This came from our vet. Um, this is the antibiotic that Mikey was on for his ear issues that really didn't do anything for him, unfortunately, because um, we're still kind of at a loss of what's going on there. But this is what he was on, so I just kept what was left of it. So this also has addresses on it um, on the other side. This was the antibiotics that the vet prescribed for Freddie when he got sick a couple weeks ago. Um, it's wrapped up because it's light sensitive and it is pre-measured syringes. So I just kept them just in case because it is a full course of Batril. So I kept it just in case anything came up with anybody else that seemed related to Freddie's issues. Um, but I probably am not going to keep this for much longer because there's really not a situation where I would give antibiotics without going to the vet first. But I kept it just for now. Okay, this, okay, it doesn't have addresses on it. Um, this has been in all of my health kit videos. I'm going to have to try to get, nothing wants to focus. Um, I'm going to have to try to get a refill of this because um, it expires in March of 2020 but this is um eye drops that i use when you can see it's a little tiny bottle it's eye drops i use when somebody gets a hay poke but this is corneal repair so this is what fixes if their eye gets scratched and they have an ulcer so i like to use these drops if somebody gets a hay poke just to be sure because i usually don't go to the vet for hay pokes unless they're pretty bad because we get them a lot um, next I just have, this is normal, like Neosporin, this is just like the off brand. Um, the thing with this is it needs to be used under a bandage or somewhere that your pet can't lick it off because it can cause some major issues if they eat this with what is in it. Um, so see, you can even see I put on it, don't let pig ingest. Um, but I have it in here just in case and I have actually used it a couple times. Um, like when Lily pulled her nail out, I used a little bit of this just to help keep it from getting infected, but I just made sure that she couldn't lick it off. Okay, then we have Gorgeous Guineas products. So this is just the Kind and Gentle Conditioning Shampoo. I just keep this in there because, um, just in case, um, I'm traveling or some situation comes up where somebody needs a bath like really quickly and this is all that I have with me. So when I first put this health kit together, um, I was traveling back and forth from my old apartment to uh, my boyfriend's house, which we now live together in the same place. So I don't travel with them near as much, but I had some of this stuff in here in case there was like an issue when I was visiting him or if um, there was a car accident or something that I don't want to think about. But that is why that was in there. Okay, then I have the Lice and Easy Shampoo from Gorgeous Guineas. And I just have the little sample size in case um, somebody gets lice or something from somewhere so that we can treat it before we get to the vet. Okay, the rest of this stuff is kind of like supplies. So I have a whole bunch of different syringes for medications, force feeding, all those different things. Um, then I have two big ones 
for force feeding, which these don't really work that great, so I don't really use these, but I have them just in case. Then I just have this extra pair of nail clippers, which I don't really like these ones, which is why they're in here, because um, I don't really use them, but they're in here just in case I need them. Then I have some human nail clippers. Um, I probably would use these over those other ones because I really don't like those other pet nail clippers. But I have these just in case and they've never been used so they are nice and sharp. And then there's just another little mini version of the human nail clippers. Then I have this little pair of scissors. Um, I got all of these little stainless steel looking tools from a little kit at Target that was really cheap um, and I have these just in case I need them to cut a bandage or something like that. I have a nail file in case I use the human nail clippers I can file off any rough edges. Then I have a set of tweezers again these came with the other stainless steel looking things. Um, and I just use these for really anything. I've gotten hay out of eyes with these. Um, I So many things. The thing with metal tweezers is if you're around an eye or something, you want to be very careful. Like, I don't put these up close to the eye. I used it to grab the piece of hay that was sticking out. Like, I didn't get these that close to the eye. So, you want to be careful with these that you don't make it worse if you're using tweezers around eyes. Then I have this pill cutter, which I usually just use to cut up um, vitamin C tablets. And then I just have this little, I think these are called carrot sticks. Um, for They're like a nail tool. It came with those other stainless steel little tools in the kit, so I just put it in here just in case a need for it ever came up. And then finally in the top, I have an extra water bottle and this is a little mini one you can see the size compared to my hand um, but I just have this in here in case like I said I set this kit up for traveling so I had it in case I needed an extra water bottle for a carrier or on the way to the vet or something like that so that is everything that is in the top so then this piece comes off and there is a bunch of stuff down in the bottom so first you can see right off the bat there sorry <laughs> there is a stethoscope um, and I just have this so that I can listen to um, gut sounds and just see if anything sounds weird um, not that I honestly would super know the difference but if there's no sound I know that would be bad so I just got this this was really cheap I got it off Amazon so um, have that then I have some vet wrap I just got pink when I had the girls, so um, I think I have some green somewhere too, but just have this in case somebody gets a cut or needs wrapped up for any reason. Then I have these vitamin C tablets, and these just need cut up into really small little bits because guinea pigs need like 25 milligrams of vitamin C. I think that's what the normal um, guinea pig specific ones are. These are 500, so you just break them up into little tiny bits. Um, my pigs actually don't really like these, so I would use these in like critical care just to add a little extra if you needed it. Then I have, then I have this um, antimicrobial spray. This is like a um, neosporin type thing. Um, I don't know what's in it. I don't know if it's the same ingredients as Neosporin, but this is a spray. So this is for use on the bunnies. Um, again, you just spray it on if there's like a cut or scrape or some kind of open skin. And um, I personally would probably wrap it up so that they couldn't lick it off or anything. Um, but I just, I've never used it, but I have it just in case anybody gets hurt. Then I have this um, sterile eye wash, which this is just saline solution, and I've used this multiple times to get hay out of eyes or to deal with um, eye pokes. So I just got this off Amazon as well. This is really good to have um, just to rinse out eyes if you need to. 
Then I have this iodine solution. Um, this needs diluted in water. You can see I put that label on there. But this is like an antiseptic. So like for example when Lily pulled her nail out. Um, I diluted a little bit of this with water. And I put it on her um, toe. To kind of clean it off. And to keep it from getting infected. So this is just a good um, antiseptic disinfectant type thing. For um, cuts and other wounds. Then I have this little baby food pouch. Um, I mostly use this with the bunnies when Mikey was taking medicine, but this is a good option if you cannot get your pet to eat anything. Sometimes um, something that's fruity and tastes good to them um, will get them eating, and that is better than them not eating anything at all if they will not eat absolutely anything. So I do have this. I also um, use this to give Mikey medicine. I just mixed his medicine in with a spoonful of it and he would eat it. Um, with baby food, make sure that it is just the pureed fruit. Like this one just has apple, banana, and water in it. You don't want anything else in there. You don't want yogurt, you don't want oatmeal, any of that kind of stuff. You just want fruit or vegetables. <laughs> then this weird blue thing is a heating or cooling pack. So you can put it in the freezer to be a cooling pack or you can put it in the microwave to be a heating pack. And I actually did use this one time. I used it a couple weeks ago with Freddie when he was um, sick and kind of dehydrated because um, he was losing body heat. So I did have him on this. Then I have this bag of Epsom salt which feels like it needs, yeah, replaced. It's all... A hard block sorry for just doing that on camera um, <laughs> but I have this Epsom salt this is good for like soaking feet um, I was soaking Luna's feet in this because she had really really dry skin always on her feet and it was just her feet were always a mess so I have this to soak little piggy feet in if I need to or um, I'm sure there's lots of other uses for this as well but that's mainly what I had it for so I just kept the whole bag in my kit Then I just have some measuring spoons. Um, I'm about to show you my recovery food and I just use these when I'm mixing that up. So I will show this. I do have a bag of critical care. Um, our vet gave this to us a couple weeks ago when Freddie was sick just as another option to try to get him to eat because he was not wanting to eat anything. So I was going to try this. So I do have one bag of critical care. But usually, what I normally use is the Sherwood recovery food. So, you can see here I have the guinea pig recovery food that I was using with Freddy and trying to get him to eat. Um, and this is just the regular one. And then I have the regular rabbit one. And I just, I like having the Sherwood stuff. They eat Sherwood pellets and I just... I think it's a little bit healthier of an option so that's why we use this instead of the critical care so that was the regular rabbit one and then this is the rabbit one recovery food plus weight gain so this is really good to have on hand as well especially if you have somebody that is not eating enough and losing weight I had the guinea pig version of this when Luna was having her surgery and I gave her a whole bunch of it before her surgery to try to get her to gain weight again and it really did help. So this is a good option as well. And then I have the Sherwood Appetite Restore which this stuff does work pretty well. I use this with Luna after her surgery to get help get her eating again. Um, and it tastes like banana, so most of the pets really like it. But you just mix this with water and syringe feed it to your pet, and it kind of kickstarts their appetite again and gives them some of the nutrients they need to try to get them eating and get them back on their feet. So if you have a pet that won't eat, sometimes this is a good thing to give them to try to get them eating again and then um, work on giving them the recovery food after this. And then getting down to the last thing, I have two packs of the Benebac Plus, and these are probiotics for small pets. Um, these I give if somebody is on antibiotics, or 
I went ahead and got two packs of this recently because um, with Freddie's illness, we think maybe that he ate something bad. Um, so since his whole digestive system was messed up, I went ahead and got some of this in case anybody else got sick or um, I was going to just give this to them to try to make sure everybody was good, but it turned out everybody was good and um, when I got this in, everybody seemed to be fine. So this is a great to give with antibiotics or if there's some kind of digestive issue going on. So this is our full guinea pig and rabbit health kit. So I hope this video was helpful and gave you some ideas on what you can put in your kit. Like I said, this is a pretty extensive kit as I have a lot of pets and it was set up for when I was traveling with my pets as well. So all of these things are pretty nice to have but you probably don't need all of these things in this kit. But I hope it gave you some ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I make new pet videos every Friday. You also can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are at The Tiny Herd. You also can check out our website and blog at thetinyherd.com. And all of the products and all of those relevant links will be in the description box down below. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh,